Hey, welcome to Canada's Worst Driver, Season 4. This year, our rehabilitation centre is in the most intimidating location we've ever come up with. Also, we've gone out and picked up a fleet of fancy automobiles. And the people who create our courses have come up with the most intimidating challenges they've ever designed. The only thing... The only thing that hasn't improved is the skill level of our nominees. This is Canada's worst driver. who you're talking to. Canada's worst driver. Three times already. I do deserve to be Canada's worst driver. We've named Canada's worst driver. That's the end of my driving career. <laughs> yeah. Six months ago, we hit the streets of this great nation one more time, asking you to tell us about the most unskilled motorists you know of. Hi, my name is Jeremy. And I have nominated my friend Jen. My fiance Matthew. My sister Johanna for Canada's Worst Driver. For season four, we received more nominations than ever, including men who refuse to grow up. Now that's fun. Women who refuse to slow down. I usually go about 40, 50 above the limit. And hundreds of other illegal drivers. You are on probation. Who have hit thousands of things. A car, I've hit a truck, I've hit a sign, I've hit a, a parking meter. The sad news is our rehabilitation center only has enough space for eight motorists. And those eight people are waiting for me at the top of this dizzying garage. These folks might not look dangerous, but they are. One of them is Canada's worst driver. Lindsay was nominated as Canada's worst driver because this effervescent Kelowna girl likes to let go of the wheel. Kurt from Vancouver was nominated because he can't keep his eyes on the road. Oh, look at that chair in the, in the shop there. That was for sale at the oh, car. Geez, a cop car. car. Just because he wants to park. Donna from Sault Ste. Marie is here for a lot of reasons. You're going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way? Yeah. It's a one way this way. British Columbian Ken can't reverse. I'd rather take my grandmother to the prom than do this. <laughs> Amy from Saskatchewan can't drive without crying. <laughs> and Calgarian Emily can't change lanes. Let me go. 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 18 year old Tegan is the youngest nominee we've ever had. And the final candidate this year is Albertan Ashley, who can be a monster behind the wheel. Drive over. Ooh. Our expectations are low, and our insurance is high. Canada's worst drivers and the people who nominated them will soon be on the road to rehab. This year on Canada's Worst Driver, Our rehabilitation center will be rocking as usual. Oh my god, that was really bad. Each program... Right, get in the car! The nominees will have to deal with three intense driving challenges. As always, I'll go through every challenge first. 
just to show how doable the courses are for a motorist who remains calm. I get scared. Oh, perfect. Keep in mind, though, our drivers rarely remain calm. At the end of the next episode, we'll begin graduating the nominees back onto public roads. When no one is left, we will know the identity of Canada's worst driver. Look behind you, look behind you, look behind you. <laughs> Turn that off. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for coming. Inside those envelopes are the directions that are going to get you to our maximum security driver rehabilitation center. This year's rehab center is in Guelph, Ontario, 45 kilometers from this parking garage. If the bad drivers follow our simple list of directions, they should cheerfully get to rehab in under an hour. Amy, nominated by professional truck driver husband Bob, is first to leave. You're starting to well up already at the thought of this. <laughs> yeah. You all right? Yeah. Maybe it's just a little smoke in Amy's eye. Why haven't you gone yet? At home in Saskatchewan, driving is always an emotional trip for Amy. Palms get a little sweaty. Knuckles go really white. <laughs> yeah. Um, start crying a little bit. Actually, Amy cries a lot especially when she travels to Regina on the fast-moving Ring Road. There? We're back to the Ring Road. We're back to the Ring Road. Oh, my God. Amy has to use the Ring Road to pick up supplies for her new business. Where do you want to go? Home. Home. Yeah. If she can't conquer this weekly voyage, Amy's business will go bankrupt. Just leave me alone for a minute. I'm done and I can't do it anymore. On her way to our rehabilitation center, Amy is going 40K under the speed limit. Next to leave the parking lot is speed freak Donna, who was nominated by her son, Claude. No ticketable offenses. Really? As soon as Donna's on the road, Stop here? No, we don't have to. It's a four-way. This grandmother ignores every stop sign she encounters. This is a four-way? Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. Oh, better stop. Oh, I do not want to drive with you ever. At home in Sault Ste. Marie, it's the same non-stop drama. The worst is not stopping at stop signs. It gives me um, a high, like a high. Great! I did it again! I did it again! Another thing that makes Donna high while driving is drinking. Alcohol. You have a tendency of putting it in your bottle. Only when I go to bingo. Don't lie, Donna. Only when I go to bingo. One drunk night, Donna nearly killed herself. I fell asleep at the wheel, and I just woke up in time. Another drunk night, Donna nearly killed a bicyclist. Yes, I did hit a cyclist. Same story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was just Tipsy lucky. turvy. I was just lucky. Yeah. What about the pedestrian? The pedestrian? Well, I didn't mean to hit him. You're going to hurt somebody. No, I'm not. No, I'm not, no. I look everywhere. Everywhere. For police. Yeah. <laughs> On the road to rehab. Oh, oh not my fault. Holy Donna has already broken eight traffic laws. Man, I could use a drink right now. No wonder I drink and drive. Emily was made a worst driver candidate by her husband, Scott. Let's go. Let's go. I'm hoping that Emily is used to driving something with a totally different style of door. But no, her personal car is a... Chevy Cavalier. Oh, okay. And this is a Chevy Cavalier. So it's identical to your vehicle at and home. And the car is different. <laughs> My car is but green. But the doors <laughs> shut the same on a green car or a black car, OK? Drive to rehab, Emily. Okay. I'll see you there. I see you. Emily pulls into traffic. Sorry. And cuts off an SUV. Go. go. OK. 
When Emily moved to Calgary from China four years ago, she didn't know how to drive. I come here, get my 10 hours training, and I get a license, and I'm just passed my test. Only for once. We would like to meet that guy who gave you your driver's license. Oh, you can, yeah, this is officer. Yeah. It's officer. He's officer. Emily's driving style. Oh, sorry about that. Involves a lot of apologies. Sorry. She's hit pillars, parked cars, curbs. Oh, so. <sighs> Emily has scraped a mountain of paint, but so far, she hasn't hurt anyone. So probably I'm happy for that. You are the worst driver. Can you just shut up? When we come back, all of Canada's worst drivers will be on the road, headed to our rehabilitation center. Oh, watch the... Oh! Oh! oh. Just lost the road. Yeah. While five nominees for the title Canada's Worst Driver wait at the top of a parking lot, the other three worst driving candidates oh, yeah, 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 yeah. are already headed to our secret maximum security driver rehabilitation center. This year, all of the bad drivers are going to prison. This correctional institution was shut down six years ago. When we heard about it, we rented it. The whole stinking thing! There's roads, there's roundabouts, and there's the constant reminder of where extremely bad driving can lead. Last year in Canada, over 7,000 people were locked up for driving illegally. The incarcerated people include nice folks who accidentally killed people while intentionally running red lights. Yep, huh? Too bad. That's red, ma. I don't care. I'm going. This is another one of those lights. <laughs> you're going to jail. What? You're going to go to jail. Uh, they don't turn. <laughs> Kurt was nominated as Canada's worst driver by his husband, Vance, because... Kurt has had a career total of how many accidents? 46. Kurt's biggest driving offense is ramming people from behind. I'm the rear end guy. Okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Seven years ago in Vancouver. Hi, boys. Kurt's distracted driving scared his husband so much. Oh, look at that coat and that poodle. <laughs> Vance pulled off a driving intervention. I uh, insisted that he stop driving, told his boss he had to stop driving. I was on the road sales person at the time. And I moved into an inside sales job. For three years, Kurt took a scooter to work. Then Vance relinquished and bought him this old truck to beat around in. I've uh, hit a couple telephone poles, cement posts, cement fence, a couple parked cars, a couple curbs. I have a ding that just happened about a month ago. Buying Kurt this truck. Look at the color of that luggage. <laughs> is a decision Vance now regrets. Pay attention, you dork. En route to rehab, Kurt should be paying extra attention. Driving in the bloody head-on lane. There are bad drivers all over these roads. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. my God. Should be. I, uh... It's not a one way. What? Oh, I'm on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> oh, my nerve. TJ strongly recommended his fiance, Lindsay, sign up for rehab because every day, Lindsay drives about 100 kilometers. Oh, wow. Much of it illegally. It's oh, that bad. is illegal. Yeah. Breaking the rules. <laughs> You're crazy like that. You scare the f out of me. I have had probably about seven accidents with actual vehicles. Uh, yeah. Whoa, whoa. No, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. And then I've probably hit about over like 40 objects, whether they're cars or dumpsters or walls or curbs. Okay. What are you? Just chill, okay? It's fine. These things happen <laughs> a lot when it's me. Headed for rehab, Lindsay doesn't happen to notice the traffic lights. Yellow light. <gasps> oh, crap. <laughs> oh, sorry. 
teenager Tegan, nominated by his buddy Matt, is too young to be insured on a rental vehicle. So, in order to get you to the rehab center, you're going to have to drive my truck. <laughs> you trust me? You tell me, should I? No. <laughs> I agreed to this before learning that Tegan has done several hit and runs. I just kind of sideswiped some cars and just drove away. Pardon me? I'm sensing this is a bad idea. I'm just waiting for that horrible sound that I know so well from this show, that sound of... Oh. <sighs> At home in Edmonton, we drove with Tegan for two hours. Do I go on this side? Or? No, 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 no. Oh. In that time, we saw him blow through a stop sign. No. We saw him stop on a ramp, then drift backwards. <gasps> break, break. <sighs> And we caught him slaughtering construction pylons. Oh, oh, holy oh, holy but all that was nothing compared to a problem Tegan calls the wobble. <laughs> the wobble happens because Usually it's because I'm swerving into the other lane and, and I, uh, I think I'm going to sideswipe the car. So I jerk the other way and I'm going the other way. So I just jerk back and I don't know. What are you doing? I just try and keep straight. Uh, it's stupid. It's terrifying. If Tegan wants to graduate from our program, he's going to have to get past the wobble. Going to rehab in my truck. Tegan's pumping the gas and steering like he's blind. Oh, oh. Just watch the road. Ken was nominated as Canada's worst driver by John, his best friend. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ken's job involves driving 100K a day. Ooh. It's amazing he's alive. At home in BC, Ken told us what he thinks his biggest issue is. The main problem I have is backing up. Ah! I've bashed many a car backing into them. <coughs> See, I told you, I don't know what the hell reverse is for. Ken also doesn't know what his signal lights are for or what his parking brake is for. Oh, <laughs> we're going backward at a high rate of speed. Ken's key ring displays his biggest problem as a driver. Look at this idiot. Like this person in front of me is an idiot. I'm not hanging around for these farmers. I guarantee the way he's going, he's going to have another accident. And I don't want it to be a major one because he's my best friend and I'd like to have him around for a while longer. Brian made his Albertan wife, Ashley, this year's final worst driver candidate. Save the best for last. Show them how it's done. Absolutely. Let's get out of here. At home in Medicine Hat, Ashley is one of those Albertans who laughs at the idea of fuel efficiency. She prefers driving her husband's monster truck. I've had my license for seven years, and I've probably hit about 20 to 30 things. A big reason Ashley hits things... Who the f*** does she think she is? ...is that she tends to be hostile. That's a stupid bitch. Some f***ing has a f***ing attitude and I don't give a flying Ashley has a truckload of anger. I don't move for dumb f***ing. How about that? But she saves her greatest rage... You tool. ...for her husband, Brian. <laughs> Brian and I always, always argue about my driving. Oh! What the f I mean, we fight a lot. She's made me walk a few times. <laughs> shut up before I make you shut up. In, in what world can you turn right across two lanes? Go f yourself. Uh, I keep divorce papers in the glove box. Yeah, it's, it's pretty intense sometimes when we're driving. But... You always make up after. Apparently so. 
Ashley and Brian have a mohawked baby boy, aptly named Diesel. I have a son now. I don't want to turn him into a little driver. On her way to rehab... Whoa! Signal, you retard. Ashley meets up with Ken. <gasps> oh, I can him! He's behind us! Oh, there's one of them. This is a race now. Red lights are where most urban street races begin. Oh, let's race. Prairie driver! <laughs> Coming off the light, Ashley floors it. Don't let him get in front of you. He's going to cut in front of you. No woman is going to pass me. Then Ken floors it. Oh, how dare he. We're staying on his ass. When Ken breaks for a slow driver ahead... Oh, yeah. Ashley boxes him in and speeds past. <laughs> what a sucker! Street racing isn't just a traffic offense, it's a crime you can go to jail for. Well, yellow light. Oh! <gasps> oh! <gasps> light. That's a lot. Is that a cop? When we come back, more dangerous driving. Don't worry, Claude. Driving this car is so nice that you can't get hurt. It's beautiful. This is one way. What? The nominees for Canada's Worst Driver are all headed to our new rehabilitation center. <gasps> I'm going in there. Donna is the first person to arrive. You're it was kidding. a prison. I can't believe <laughs> look, this. Look at there's your mug. <laughs> what? My pictures? That picture is Donna's final stopping point. <laughs> what the hell is that all about? Getting here, Donna sped 34 times, and she didn't stop at marked intersections. Oh, I don't stop. Ever. I just love going through them. And I get a real rush, stomach rush. Kurt is next to approach. That's a nice house. Nice lake. There's something you don't see often as a mule. Kurt didn't enjoy getting to rehab because... I don't like driving. You don't like I it? I don't really like driving, no. Lindsay loves driving. Sorry. Sorry. But her fiancé... Why aren't the brakes very good? ...is terrified. I'm scared the of me. That's true, isn't it? Yeah, oh yeah. Just outside the rehab center, Ken repasses a lost Ashley. Yay! When he arrives at our gates... Oh, let's boot it. Ken keeps trying to show off, but... <laughs> She's a dead end, pal. Is that the guy? Yes. That's Ken. Oh! By the time Ken finds his way in... Oh! I've seen enough. Really, I've seen enough. Let's just stop. You're done, man. Get out. Get out. I don't want to see you, Park. You're driving like an ass. Get out. My advice for Ken is blunt. Behave. Yep. Smarten up. Yep. And you'll be a better driver. Okie doke. Street racing to rehab. Ken could have got our show shut down. Where do we go? Anywhere but away from me. Amy is running a little late. What's this? Edna. Because she's a lot confused. What's this? What's this? What was that? What was that? What's that? Oh, God. Amy believes all her ticketable offenses were the results of nerves. It is a confidence issue. I am very scared in traffic. Anyone near Tegan in traffic should be scared. Tegan, you just hit a pile on. Huh? Tegan doesn't even realize that driving with a wobble is unsafe. I don't know, it feels safer when I do that. Really? Okay. Driving in a straight line is safer. Emily is driving in a straight line, but she's headed for disaster. This is not the road, honey. This is the This is the shoulder. This is the shoulder. This is the shoulder. Get off the shoulder. Get onto the road. The thing about the road is... You have to share it. Honey, stay in your lane. Emily arrives at rehab thinking her drive was completely legal. Yeah, it's good. Emily, you say you're okay going forward. Yeah. Is she wrong? She's wrong, yeah. 
The last person still on the road? Where is this sign, you idiot? Just raced past the rehab center. Why don't you say something? Like, what the is your problem? Getting here, Ashley didn't cause a four-car pileup like she recently did in Medicine Hat. I hit one person, it was you a really chain reaction. Somebody. I didn't at them or complain. Wow, how big of you? <laughs> well... I've confiscated every nominee's driver's license. After the break, we'll see if anyone deserves to get their license back. To see if the candidates for Canada's worst driver are up to scratch when it comes to handling an automobile in tight situations, their very first challenge here at our rehab center is all about maneuvering. Now, just to make sure they don't blame their bad driving on a faulty vehicle, we're giving them a Porsche. Yeah, a Porsche. Mm-hmm. I've never driven one of these things before. Unfortunately, I'll start my Porsche driving career inside this tight little cubicle. Now, to get out of here, the drivers are going to have to be careful. This unforgiving trap is frustrating. Yeah, it's just gonna take a while. It takes me 19 turns and four minutes to get out cleanly. Okay, and from here, it's a simple reverse in a straight line all the way back. This section isn't truly challenging until the end. Keep an eye on my front. Where there's a tight turn. That's it, I'm good to go. From here, drivers go forward into our slow slalom. This is where we want to see the turning abilities of the bad driver, so they must get up to 40 kilometers an hour, keep two hands on the wheel, and make this slalom course... Stop! Did you hear what I just said? Keep two hands on the wheel. Keeping two hands on the wheel is crucial for safe driving. Imagine the wheel as a clock. If you place your hands in the quarter to three position, you will never have to let go when swerving at 40k an hour or faster. That's why, to pass our slalom, drivers must maintain 40 and not let go. Woohoo, which I did. Headed into the hallway of boxes, drivers must accelerate to 60. Accelerate, accelerate, accelerate. Then break at the checkered flags. Come to a complete skidding stop without hitting anything, which I did. It's really not that hard. But how hard will it be for Canada's worst drivers? We're about to find out with Ashley. Ashley starts... <laughs> without a real plan. I don't know how close I am. Well, we're gonna get wedged in here. For sakes, well, now we're back in square one. Knowing what doesn't work, <sighs> Ashley does the opposite. How close am I? Lots of room. And escapes the trap without touching. Use your mirrors. Ugh, Brian! Now watch <laughs> mirrors. Mirrors don't Help, I'll never use them. You should write a letter to auto companies everywhere tell them they should stop making cars with mirrors. I can't use mirror. Okay. Ugh. Just use your mirror. I don't know how to use my mirror. It takes 40 minutes, but Ashley gets through the reverse without using her mirrors. I wasn't gonna scratch somebody's Porsche. And with that... All right. Ashley heads into the slalom. Holy... 40. Ah! 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 Ashley gives the car gas with her right stilettoed foot, then breaks late with her left stilettoed foot. Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god! Ashley came to rehab so she could have access to our crack team of experts. I like shaking. You need your vision to drive. There's no other way around it. You need your eyes. That's Philippe Letourneau. To get out of there, I'm going to go from reverse to drive really quick. Philippe is back as the rehab center's high-performance driving instructor. Also returning is race car driver and clinical psychologist, Dr. Luisa Gambora. This man is what we call a right fighter. He's always right, everyone else is always wrong. This year's fresh face belongs to our super strict head driving instructor, Dan Baggin. Now signal, 
Now check your side mirror, your blind spot. And as always, Sergeant Cam Woolley of the Ontario Provincial Police is here to keep things in perspective. That is a criminal offense here in Canada. You can go to jail for that. At the end of every episode, these four wheel nuts help me decide who graduates. Tegan? No. 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 And who stays on the road to being named Canada's worst driver. This year, Ken might be the man. Ken provides us a good example of an archetypical narcissistic personality disorder. Oh, Holy smokes. A, a Porsche. Inside the concrete trap... Okay, now swing it the other way again. Ken relies on his buddy John... You're wedged in again, you gotta go again. ...to make every decision. Go forward, forward, up forward. <sighs> Did I mention that our Porsche has its original unscratched paint job? Or had it? Oh, oh, oh look at the Porsche. Aluminum doors done in. Oh. Oh my. Got a wheel under the wheel. Oh. There you go. You would think that someone who drives 100 kilometers every day for work would know how to reverse. This is embarrassing. No, it isn't. It is. Let's just talk about how this is going here. Uh, Ken. Not very well. Perhaps the slalom will go better. Okay, you've got to get up to 40. Yeah. Okay, punch it. Ken gets up to 40, but his hand over hand steering is disastrous. Oh! Focusing on the final wall of the 60k an hour straightaway. Punch it! Ken speeds up to 70. This ineptitude is old news to John. But that's why the kids wanted me to nominate you, because they're terrified of your driving. Amy is up next. Am I going to hit? Amy hits her back bumper, then her front bumper, then her back, then her front. Back, front, back, front, back, front, and so on and so on. Oh, I did it again. Oh. Yeah, sorry. The scratches are adding up. See, because I was driving and I wasn't paying attention. Me. Don't talk. Okay. Okay? All right. Headed for the 40K slalom. Give her. Stay on the gas. Amy loses control while only going 32. <laughs> Amy needs to try again. I need a minute, okay? Take all the time you want. A year wouldn't be long enough. When she tries again, <laughs> Amy nails two obstacles. Gas, gas, lots of gas. Amy has gas problems, slow reflexes, and bad nerves. I'm starting to feel like a doctor with a lot of sick patients. Next! Emily's next. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh. Crank it, crank it, crank it, crank it. No, cannot crank it. After 10 minutes and 15 light taps... Whatever. Emily can't find a way out of the box. Oh. So she tries to beat her way out. Stop! Whatever. Emily's repeated assaults on the concrete barrier are getting her wedged into the corner. It's just a simple question. I cannot do. Okay, well, you're, we're stuck. When she sees just how stuck, Emily gives up. It's gotta go to outside. I say if you can get out, you get out, okay? After half an hour, Emily can't get out. To show his wife how it's done, Scott gets out of the trap in two minutes. He didn't teach me how to make it, right? That's him. Right. Getting out of the doghouse might take Scott a little longer. Don't touch me. Come on, baby. Come on. <laughs> After 
after the break, our Porsche continues to devalue. The nominees for Canada's Worst Driver Season 4 are showing off their driving skills by getting a Porsche out of a tight parking space. So go on what I go. Then they're reversing it. Me. Then they're slaloming it. Spin it. Spin it. And then they're breaking it. <laughs> Donna is next to drive the Porsche. Let's go. I've never driven one before and my heart's pounding. Soon, it's the Porsche that's pounding. Oh, f How in the hell did you get out of here? You have to back up. Oh, f I can't back up. Whoa. Oh, my God. Okay, it's a good thing it wasn't a car. Claude has recently had open heart surgery. You give me chest pains. Take a nitro. Instead of taking his heart medication, Donna's son takes the wheel, which makes him accountable for any accident. You're making it go! I don't care. What the There. Is oh. If you touch any of the controls, you assume all the liability and legal responsibility of the driver. Don't touch the steering wheel, man. Thanks. On second thought, maybe letting Claude steer would be safer. <laughs> oh, now I'm stuck! Oh. Donna pulls forward. I think I can do it now. Then backs into the same rim. Oh! I forgot about that side. You'd think after trapping those rims underneath the car four or five times, she would have gotten over it, but she can't get over anything. No! No! Oh! What did I hit? I need a drink. Just the straight ride I'll take today. Driving sober, Donna lays waste to the slalom course. Then during her skid to the finish, stop! Donna breaks late and shatters my perception of little old ladies. <laughs> Can I do it again? <laughs> if bad driving is a drug, Donna is a hardcore addict. I'm a high right now. Like, I am just... Whew. I'm just vibrating inside. Lindsay is up next. Lindsay slips out of the concrete box. Here you go. I think I got it. Quicker than anyone. I'm so good at backing up, too. I, <laughs> I bet you are. I am. I spoke too soon. <laughs> Now we're laughing. This lady needs an attitude adjustment. Speeding up for the slalom, Lindsay doesn't see the first obstacle. Whoa. Whoa. I didn't even see her. That begs the question, what was Lindsay looking at? When she tries again, ah! Ah! Lindsay fumbles her way through the slalom. There you go, you're looking at you're looking. Oh. 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 When she sees the wall of boxes approaching, though... You're at 60? 60? Yeah, there, there you go. Lindsay there lets go. go of the wheel completely. Oh, damn it. Oh. Lindsay's grip on reality is non-existent. I knew I was the best. Okay, like, you, you shouldn't really be bragging too much about that. I don't know if you were watching. You ran through a wall, you killed a woman. Doesn't matter. Kurt's next to give it a whirl. Driving a Porsche requires focus. I hit the wall. But Kurt focuses on whining. Well, I'm too fake for in here. I can't see. After eight minutes in the trap, Kurt's built up a lot of aggression. Well, I'm totally frustrated. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Does Kurt not understand the premise of this challenge? You gotta get out of here. Yeah. Without running over everything. Right. Right. That wasn't us, was it? When it's time for the slalom. Emotional wreck. You'll do well, honey. You'll do well. Kurt steers hand over hand 
destroying an obstacle. Keep going, keep going. Then Kurt destroys another obstacle. And that's all Vance can bear to watch. It's bad driving, but it's nothing to cry about. Okay, don't cry. Don't cry to me. Make me cry. <laughs> Tegan is the final Porsche driver. You. Tegan scrapes his way out of the trap, then reverses faster than he can steer. You don't have to go to top speed. <laughs> Eighteen year old guys are way overrepresented in serious crashes. In the 40k an hour slalom, uh, uh, Tegan never gets up to speed. Uh, 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 uh. Holy <laughs> man. Take your time. On his second try, Tegan hits the speed and two of the obstacles. Actually, make that three. This is why teenagers can't get insurance on rental vehicles. Tegan's driving is an all-round horror show. Scary, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. After the break, the criminal drivers learn where their habits could lead them. Before our crew of experts meets all of this season's nominees for Canada's worst driver, Sergeant Cam Woolley of the Highway Safety Department wants to scare some sense into four of them. I've been doing this job 30 years. I've met a lot of nice people that got into serious trouble. Cam has singled out Donna, who drinks and drives. Only when I go to Bengal. Don't lie, Donna. Only when I go to Bengal. Then there's Tegan, who leaves accident scenes. I just kind of sideswiped some cars and just drove away. Pardon me? And Ashley is in this group. This is a race now. Because of her street race with Ken. No woman's going to pass me. All these things are a breach of the criminal code of Canada. They can get you behind bars, get you in jail. So, Cam is going to put these four drivers in jail. And I think it's important that you have a touch of that. You see what it's like in there. It's not good. Two years ago, over 3,600 Canadians were sentenced to prison for drunk driving offenses. Really? This is terrible. If you're convicted and sentenced to jail, this is the place you'd be in. Is drinking and driving really worth this to Donna? I don't think so. Really? <laughs> Get in there. You could find yourself in here for 10 years. Oh my God. Oh my God, I wouldn't like this. This would be a disaster. We're only locking the criminal drivers up for a few short minutes. But that's long enough for each of them to understand. Prison is not a place they want to be. Upstairs in the prison's old courtroom, the experts settle into their seats just as Donna is led out of her cage. I could not imagine myself in there for 10 years. Like, oh my God. You scared me really bad. I'm glad that happened. I'm glad you scared me. At this stage in every episode... I did do some really stupid things. All the drivers will get a chance to explain themselves. I acted like an ass. I'm so disappointed by myself. I'm just too much of a nervous driver when I'm driving. When everyone has faced the music... Your attitude needs a major readjustment. Yep, I would agree with you, for sure. The experts and I will remain in private to decide the nominee's fate. Tonight, no one will graduate. But next episode, one of you will get your license back and be allowed to drive home as this season's first graduate. They're all disturbingly abysmal, but only one of them is Canada's worst driver. Ah! 
on the next episode of Canada's Worst Driver. I'll hit you. The nominees parallel park on a busy street. I'm going in there, go! They get stuck reversing a laundry truck in the rain. Oh my god! And our icy corners challenge results in some unintentional landscaping. They're going to break! Oh! They're going to... Holy Vibrating inside.